Serving his hunt, tied at 14. Kreider sets up and that ball is blocked back. Set up Santos again. Ball comes over, that's saved by Hunt. Ball comes over and that goes off the block and down. Incredible play by Hawaii, absolutely unbelievable. Well, it all starts with the defense and Stephen Hunt, who made an amazing block a few moments ago, coming up with a crucial dig, giving Hawaii their first swing for the match. Big play here. Let's see if this ball goes outside. Hawaii serving for the match. Serving is Hunt. This is just unbelievable. Hunt will not get it in. Puts it into the net. And we're tied at 15. And we go on. It's important for Stephen Hunt to just get the next play. He's going to be probably served this next ball. Just work on getting himself in a good position to pass his ball and forget that that last play just happened. Serving is Kreider. Come on. Yes. Jonas Umla picking up his 36th kill of the match. And Hawaii needs just one more point. Second swing at the match. Second swing in the MPSF tournament to go into the semifinal. And the crowd booing as Pepperdine wants more wiping up of moisture. Track this ball to go to Schleppenbach here. Either on the X play or on the five set. If they can keep it in, and it serves wide. Gerges hits it. Long. Second time Hawaii has had a swing at it. Second time. And they have not been able to break through. Schleppenbach, who has been the nemesis all night, will serve. Gets it in. Dug up by Cervantes. Ball is hit over. And here comes Pepperdine. And the ball is hit off the block. And let's say. That's in! That's in! Pepperdine was celebrating, and the ball was in! Third swing for the match. And Hawaii could not have ridden up any better right now for their best server, Nate Zemniak, to be serving for the match. He missed one earlier. Let's see if Zemniak can work his magic one more time. Can he do it? He's done everything. This place will go absolutely berserk. Up the space and down! And Hawaii wins! Hawaii wins unbelievably! We'll give credit to Coach Charlie Wade and company for advancing to the MPSF second round. Great way to think, just think, this is a team that had not made it to the MPSF playoff in the past two seasons, and now they will be advancing to play Stanford next week in Palo Alto. I have never seen a more exciting ending. I have never seen it before. Semya hits it off the tape and down. Kreider couldn't get to it. And Hawaii beats Pepperdine in five, 18 to 16. It is just absolute bedlam here, and it should be. We're we'll trying to get a word with um, Charlie Way. Zemiak. I mean, Zemiak did everything. I, if Zemiak, if you looked at what he did tonight, he may have played the best, the best of any player in years, in years for Hawaii. Schleppenbach is the outstanding player for Pepperdine. And Umla is the outstanding player for Hawaii. Most outstanding player awards are sponsored by the Bank of Hawaii. So Pepperdine, all on the cusp, all on the cusp of winning this match, couldn't pull it off. And Hawaii did an amazing, amazing fifth game. We told you at the beginning that you were about to see one of the great matches of all time. And you did. Whew. Joining us now is uh, Charlie Wade. I need a drink, hold on. And it is just water, but... <laughs> <laughs>
little parts. <laughs> Charlie, right, have you. you ever participated in any kind of volleyball experience in a match like this, the way this went? Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to compare. I mean, we've been a part of some great matches over the years. Uh, you know, that match at Nebraska in 2002 was pretty spectacular. But to be in front of our fans here and, and to come back, to be down, you know, uh, in game five. And, uh, yeah, a great win. Great win. And, and really proud of the guys just gutting it out and, uh, and beating a really good team, man. They were throwing the kitchen sink at us. I can't believe how far down the bench you could go. And they were still really good. You know, the, when you went out there in the fourth game with a chance to win it in four, not even take it to five. The team just seemed to devolve into something that was very negative. Nothing seemed to work. And yet they were able to recharge going into the fifth. What did you tell them after the fourth? Well, we think, you know, they, they, they really uh, revamped their lineup. You know, they, they put Santos in the opposite. They, they made a bunch of changes. So, you know, sometimes that's enough. You get a little spark, you get different matchups, and you're not, you know, same timing, blocking. Uh, our team devolving is probably bad coaching. I'll take that. But uh, we got them going in game five and uh, came out with a nice win. You were livid against the down official in the fifth game. Tell us what that was all about. Well, when they made that switch in game four, and when something we saw on film before, the, the short order is there was an overlap that they had been doing earlier in the year. We saw in some film, and then they'd fixed it. And when they put Santos back in the opposite, he absolutely would leave early. And I mean, I didn't expect him to call it late in the match. That's why I was trying to get him to call it early. So I didn't expect it at match point. But uh, it's just one of those things. You're trying to get a point any way you can. The way, the, the way this match ended, you had three swings at the match. The first two, of course, didn't work. But the third one with Zemiak. How important is Zemiak to, to this team? I mean, he did everything tonight. Well, and I think the way the match ended is really just kind of the microcosm of our year and what he means to us. A net court ace that falls. You know, that guy has controlled matches from the service line for us all year. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, he was really good. When you saw this crowd tonight, when you saw this crowd, I think you have to take credit for what you and the lads did because... Uh, this was a terrific crowd, and the people, the people are back, and you should be congratulated for that. I think it was the donuts Monday morning. <laughs> Thank you very much. One of the things you said coming into this season as a head coach, you wanted to make the MPSF first round. You wanted to advance into a tournament. Just kind of talk about your first year as a whole, this being the last home match, especially for the seniors, what they've meant to this program, and just how you've been able to just almost evolve this team from a team that has not made the first round for the past two seasons to what it is now. How'd you do it? Well, uh, I think we were lucky and good. You know, I think we had a pretty clear vision of what we wanted to do. I think I benefited from the three years as a head coach of Pacific in a similar situation. We're taking what was once a, a proud national champion uh, program and restoring it and getting back to it. So I was similar in, in shaping and changing culture. I'd been through that. And, and that really was our mantra. And we're going to change the culture. We're going to come in here and, you know, and I'm not going to go into all the details about it, but, you know, and the guys bought in. And, it was, and that's where I'm most lucky. You know, I, I put together good staff that really helped us and the guys bought into what we were about. And um, I mean, it really has been a magical ride. And you know what? It ain't over yet. It's not over yet. You have to go to Stanford. And uh, let's, let me give a little jab to Stanford because they have a lot of Hawaii players, players that were raised in Hawaii and learned the game in Hawaii. University of Hawaii, Palo Alto. <laughs> University of Hawaii. <laughs> University of Hawaii East. <laughs> and, next, and next week you go up against them. One of your great goals is to make the first choice for high school players coming out of Hawaii. Make the first choice, Manoa. I know that's one of your goals. And you can work toward it next week. Tell me about Stanford. Well, and I think we did a big step towards that this week. You know, Pepperdine's got a lot of local boys going to it. And, you know, I, I, we got high school coaches and club coaches bringing players to Pepperdine's practice this week and stuff. And it's really frustrating. You know, we're trying to get people to go, hey, you age first. We're really good. We're beating these teams. And, uh, and you're exactly right. You know, Stanford's got a bunch of them. We can make another statement, you know, and they're... They won the league, and they're the best team in the country right now with all Hawaii players. And, uh, you know, a lot of people I got a lot of respect for and have known for a long time, but we're going up there to give them everything we got and come home with a win. Congratulations, Charlie. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thanks, Rhino. <laughs> great seeing you. Well, that uh, was one of the great, the great uh, matches of, of all time here at the Stan Sheriff Center. The coach is excited. The players are excited. The fans are excited. And as you heard the coach say, it's not over yet. This has been a special presentation of the Mountain Pacific Sports 
Federation Men's Volleyball Tournament on K5, the home team, Ryan Suji and the K5 crew. I'm Jim Leahy. What a match. Hawaii continues in the MPSF playoffs.